What's up guys? Still doing some experiments with the uh, solar panel array up here. People have been calling me the mad scientist lately, so I guess let's do a little more of that. Finally got a disconnect wired up to the panels. And right now I just have an extension cord for now here. So one of the things I'm doing, there's a split capacitor blower motor. Not a three phase, the split capacitor motor. There's a capacitor from it. I'm gonna run it right off a of three phase VFT. A local 30 hertz. We'll start to lose power now that the sun's going down. Let's run it. There we go. All right. Took me a couple tries to get it without the DC sagging in there. Went under voltage. So the motor does run. I've ran it all the way up to 60 hertz, no problem, during the day. But my sun is going down. So right here is my voltage array. There we go. 318 volts. And it's sagging until it cuts out. If I turn the frequency too low, yeah, that's a cool effect. It'll either uh, start making a lot of noise or it'll detect a phase loss because it is an imbalance. That's a single phase motor. But I, when the sun's up, I run that full tilt. It doesn't even sag the voltage at all. But once that sun gets at an angle, which is right there now, I start losing a lot of power. But let's see here. There's 300 volts, 20. 3 hertz. Let's go up to 25 hertz. There's 28 hertz. 30 hertz. See if it really sagged and dropped voltage. Okay. So enough of that. We'll pull the disconnect. Now I'm really going to blow your minds. That's nothing. We're going to go and connect DC power. Right? 300 volts DC power. I'm gonna connect it right to this plug. That's a wall plug because I had this ECM running on 110 volts going into there. And I thought of this like a week or so ago and plugged in my DC and it had all sorts of snapping sounds coming from in here. Well, it's set up for 115 volt and I forgot to cut the jumper and it blew the uh, surge suppressor in there. Did not blow all the electronics out though. It still worked when I connected it back to AC power. So today I just cut this jumper. We're not gonna hook 220 volts AC in here, but we're gonna put 320 volts DC. 320 volts unloaded. 300 volts is the loaded full amps on these panels. So now, if we go down here, the meter, carefully, not to let anything short. And it shouldn't matter which polarity I put it. But basically, you have a bridge deck, uh, bridge rectifier inside converting AC power to DC power. There it is, there's your almost 320 volts going into that ECM. It'll just steer through the diodes. It doesn't matter, you can, whatever polarity. It'll go right through there and just charge the capacitors just the same. There's a inverter board from like a Mitsubishi or something. So your AC goes and gets filtered and gets rectified, gets rectified and charges capacitors. If you just stick DC in these, it'll just steer right through the diode and charge the capacitors. Nonetheless, so the only AC I'm using right now is going to be to power that little transformer. It's going to give five volts to the low voltage terminals. And when I flip it on, watch it run. There she goes. I could just use a nine volt battery or something if I wanted to to put into the right terminals just to give this the command to run at a certain speed. Just giving it the command. The power is actually coming from the solar. And the ECM is so much more efficient than that blower is over there that it's not even... See, I'm just now down to 300 volts. Probably moving more air. I might be my hand over it, it should speed up. It goes... Whoop! I'm gonna, it is sagging. Looks like the ECM just backed off a couple times rather than quitting. So the sun's going down. The sun's at a, a very acute angle. Once the sun's down there, you, you uh, lose your current on your solar array. But isn't that badass? I'm running that right off the solar panel. You see a motor. So with that, you could take a hack an AC system, three-phase compressor, run it right off a of VFD with high voltage DC into it, and I could take the ECM blower or condenser fan motor, run DC, high voltage DC, right into it. All I would need then is just some low voltage control voltage from there. You want to do something off-grid. It wouldn't take much to hack an AC unit. 
with an ECM and a three phase compressor. Totally off grid. With mine, it's still gonna be run connected in the house, but if I hack my main AC unit, I'm just gonna put, you know, the three phase compressor. I have this extra Goodman pile that's been behind the fence. This is from a change out I did. Indoor unit leaked, the outdoor unit still worked. It's got a five ton scroll in it. But uh, I think that was noisy. Coil's in pretty good condition. It's just been sitting under the tree. Thinking of putting a three phase compressor in that and just swapping that whole thing out with my other Goodman unit. Leave the other one intact. Just in case, you never know, but. So anyway, <laughs> spitting out some leaves. Some of this stuff's just been sitting in my back 40 back there. We're all the, back there in the rough where I keep spare parts. No man's land. <laughs> Pretty cool. Anyway, just some more experimentation. Some things that roll around in my head, being the uh, mad scientist, as people keep calling me, and I guess I am. You know, I'll blow stuff up if I have to, just to see if it'll work. So that's working pretty good. That's a, is that a one horse. It must be because it says 11 amps. Yep, one horsepower motor running there. It'll run no problem when the sun is up. So who knows, with an ECM put up in my air handler, which I probably need to do if I ever run my compressor a little slower, um, maybe send the DC up there from the solar panels, let's see. Not really something I probably really bother with just because that's a lot of work <laughs> going up there and the ECM's not gonna pull too much power off my on grid. But just an idea, an idea also out there if somebody ever wants to run like something like that totally off grid of a high voltage solar array. It's, it's blasting away pretty good. Cool. Just more tinkering I've been doing. I'm still waiting to see if I can find a used compressor. I really don't want to buy a new compressor for my project. In case it doesn't work as planned, you know, spending five, six hundred bucks to roll the dice. And that's just to get like a scroll or something. R22 scroll and stay with what I got. I'd like to go rotary, but R22 rotary, that's going to be pretty hard to find. I looked on the Emerson site. It shows that scroll compressors are good to run down to 45 hertz, no problem. 45 hertz to 60 hertz is the operating range. So if I get a 3.5 ton scroll compressor, three phase, I should be able to slow it down a little bit if I have to, you know, if I don't have enough power. Or maybe when I want to, if I want to back the capacity off a little bit just to make it run longer and more continuous. So, anyway, we'll just keep playing around. With that, I'll catch you guys later.